Imagine this you wake up in Mumbai at 7 am have breakfast with your family and leave Mumbai by 8:15 by 11:15 you are already there in a business meeting in Ahmedabad that too traveling by a train and this gonna happen soon but wait this was supposed to happen in 2023 now it's 2025 india's first bullet train is still not running what went wrong political drama farmers protest machines stuck in china and a budget that exploded to 2 lakh crores welcome to rn explores today i am revealing everything about india's most awaited mega project the mumbai ahmedabad bullet train a project that's become a national obsession in next few minutes you will discover why this route was chosen over 12 other options the real reason behind the delays exclusive progress updates and the exact date when you can ride india's first bullet train Let's start with the mind blowing facts that this isn't just about connecting two cities this is about creating india's first mega economic regions check out this insane numbers combined gdp is over 25 lakh crores daily travelers between mumbai and ahmedabad is 4 lakh plus people that's more than the entire population of iceland traveling every single day why not delhi mumbai or bangalore chennai route that's because mumbai ahmedabad corridor hits the perfect spot because the distance between these two cities is around 500 km which is ideal for high speed rail the terrain is 95% flat except the mumbai's underground section and the economic density is highest in india most of the people don't know is this route is a diamond necklace of industries mumbai which has bandra kurla complex that is india's wall street and we also know mumbai is financial capital of india and then Surat that processes 90% of world's diamonds. Wapi is chemical capital with 1000 plus industries. Vadodara is petrochemical giant and obviously Ahmedabad is textile and pharmaceutical hub. This is exactly what Japan did with Tokyo Osaka in 1964. That corridor now generates 60% of Japan's GDP and India is also replicating the same formula. But the current reality check travel by train between these two cities would take around 6 to 7 hours by car it would take 8 hours by flight 1 hour flying plus 3 hours airport time and by bullet train it would take around 2 hours 7 minutes that's 10 million productive hours saved annually imagine what india could achieve with that time the delay disaster and what really happened now let's talk about the elephant in the room or should i say the white elephant in 2019 everything was on track 2020 mva government takes over and in 2021 government calls this project as white elephant and by 2022 project virtually stopped in maharashtra while gujarat was building 300 km of viaducts maharashtra was busy doing nothing the result three year political delay that cost thousands of crores but politics was just the beginning the real drama was land acquisition picture this 1380 hectares were needed eight districts affected thousands of farmers protesting tribal land protection laws cases piling up in the court every thing and it took years of negotiations starting from 2016 and odd and compensations were 10000 crores and even pm's intervention to finally achieve 100% land acquisition by 2023 and not to forget covid hit like a tsunami with 2 years of complete shutdown workers were sent home supply chains destroyed material costs skyrocketed just when we thought things were back on track boom in 2025 we had a very biggest shock three german engineer tunnel boring machines each worth of hundreds of crores are stuck at a chinese port why geopolitical tensions these aren't just any machines these weigh 1000 tons each and the purpose is boring the 21 km underground tunnel including 7 km under the sea and without them there is no mumbai terminus 
The original budget for this project which was estimated in 2015 was around 108 crores but after delaying due to land acquisition and corona the realistic final cost is around 2 lakh crores and thank god Japan is offering 0.1% interest loan otherwise funding would have killed this project. Coming to ground reality of this project as per July 2025, the overall project progress is 47.17% is complete. Money spent is around 67.5 thousand crores and there are 40 thousand workers on site daily with 4000 plus engineers and 500 plus machines and all. Gujarat is absolutely crushing because 300 kilometers of viaduct are standing tall, 383 kilometers of pier work is completed and 14 river bridges are done including Narmada and 3 lakh noise barriers are installed and they are using revolutionary techniques like full span launching which is 10 times faster than traditional precast segments like giant lego bricks and they just connect with each other. Japanese precision with 0.1 mm accuracy. The station updates include Surat 95% is completed. It already looks like an airport. Vadodara that includes banyan tree design which is an architectural marvel. Ahmedabad integration with metro, seamless connectivity and 6 out of stations are structurally complete. Here where it gets exciting, the actual track. Around 197 km of track work is underway, 78 km of tracks laid and ready. And we are using Japanese rail feeder cars that is massive machines that laid 2.5 km of track per day. At this rate, Gujarat section's track will be completed by 2026. And Maharashtra's challenge is a bit different. They are building a city under a city like BKC Terminal which is an underground station with depth of 32 meters that's a 10 story building around 76% excavation is completed station size and it has three levels of underground stations the 21 kilometer underground section includes 7 kilometer undersea tunnel through Tane Creek and 14 kilometer through dense urban areas this would also integrate with Mumbai Metro with avoiding thousands of buildings above. Once those TBMs arrive, it will take 18 months to complete. Every day of delay cause 50 crores. Forget the tracks and all. Now let me show you the Shinkansen. Japan is gifting two Shinkansen trains for testing E5 series and E3 series which would be arriving by early 2026 each valued at 280 crores and they are giving it for absolutely free. And these are just any regular train. This can go at 320 km per hour and it would have 750 passengers in airline styled comfort. The climate controlled for Indian weather and there would be no noise in the train and it can easily accelerate from 0 to 300 kmph in 3 minutes. Safety, there are no fatal accidents in 60 years. And the Indian modifications of this train include dust protections for Indian conditions, enhanced AC for 45 degrees summers, vegetarian kitchen facilities and multi-language announcements and all. Yeah, so by when you can ride this this train. By 2026, trial runs begins from Surat to Bilimura which is 50 km. Testing would be at 320 km per hour and I guess only VIP and media rights would be given. And coming to phase 2, Gujarat section opens from Ahmedabad to Wapi and commercial operations would be starting and ticket price would be 2000 to 3000. 12 trains would be operated daily. By late 2028, you would be expected to ride this train only in Gujarat sections. From Mumbai to Ahmedabad about complete section it will be opening by 2030 yes still five more years and this train would take around two hours seven minutes without any stops and two hours 50 minutes with every stop from Mumbai to Ahmedabad it would be operated 35 trains daily and it could carry 40,000 passengers Coming to the conclusion, this is just the beginning. 12 more corridors are planned from Delhi to Varanasi, Delhi to Amritsar, Mumbai, Pune, Hyderabad, Chennai, Bangalore, Mysore and by 2050, India would be probably having 10,000 km of high-speed rail and 
final thoughts would be yes there were delays yes it was over budget but remember japan's bullet train was also delayed china also faced similar challenges every mega project has growing pains so when that first bullet train departs mumbai for hamadabad it won't be a train journey it will be india's entry to league of advanced nations and the question isn't whether it is worth the wait the question is are you ready for india's future Thank you.